chief political correspondent Michael Aaron is standing by with assembly leaders to get their take about what the governor proposed in his fiscal year 2017 budget. All right, we're back at the State House. I'm here with Assembly Minority Leader John Bramnick of Westfield and Assemblyman John Berzicelli of Paulsboro, the chairman of the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Assemblyman Bramnick, let me start with you. Overall impression of the speech? Well, I think what he did was he called out uh, the Democrats and said, listen, it's time to continue with reforms. Uh, don't start changing the Constitution for more spending, and let's continue where we left off with bipartisan forms to make it more affordable to live in New Jersey. Simple as that. That was the message. Did he look fully recovered from his defeat last week? Look, this guy's one tough hombre, man. He, I think he's ready to roll. I can guarantee you being 100 percent in this fight. What was your basic impression of the speech today? I thought it was optimistic. Uh, clearly, the economy's gotten a little bit better. There's a little more money to work with, uh, so that may Maybe gives us some options. Be curious to the details of some of the things he talked about spending more money on. The devil's always in the details, Michael. And uh, this Democrat majority has always been willing to work with the governor. We're happy he's back. And uh, I think he uh, showed some of his old form today. Did he show some of his moderate form today? He talked like a New Jersey governor today. And, uh, and this body, I think, receives that well. But again, the devil, the devil will be in the details of this budget. And uh, not a bad day. He talked about out-migration, uh, something you talk about all the time. Uh, I hadn't seen this New Jersey Business and Industry Association survey he referred to, but it said two million people have left the state? Yes. Most to Pennsylvania and New York? Yes. What do we do about that? Well, you have to give people reason to stay. You can't be more expensive than Pennsylvania and New York, and Governor Cuomo, uh, he went up this on that, and he lowered the taxes just a little bit lower than we have in New Jersey. You got to get rid of this estate inheritance. Does that really make people leave their homes that the, that he's that the state tax is a quarter of a percent well, lower? It, it's it's a combination of things. Hey, when you have an estate and inheritance tax, it's uh, one of the highest in the nation. Uh, people are afraid to leave their estate here to their children. People realize there's no state income tax in Florida. You're talking about up to 10 percent here. It's a combination of things, and we have to be very competitive to compete with other states. And that out migration. A study showed billions of dollars have been lost. And in order for us to increase revenues, we need to keep people here. Do you buy the number two million? First of all, I've been on 287 in the morning. Uh, they must be sitting on the highway because it doesn't appear they left. But let me add this. On two occasions, we sent the governor a bill that would have matched New Jersey's income tax on retirement income to match Pennsylvania's with the first $100,000 not being taxable. On both occasions, that was vetoed on two separate times. So this Democrat majority has demonstrated its willingness, especially to come in sync with Pennsylvania because there is a migration there and we just need the governor to sign that particular bill and that'll match the income tax rate. What about the transportation trust fund uh, discussion that he uh, participated in today or moved forward today? You, you think there's a deal in the works? Well, it's going to have to be some sort of deal, but remember, last year, part of the balancing of the Transportation Trust Fund came off the backs of the transit riders in New Jersey Transit who paid a fare increase. Uh, so there's been some moving around of numbers, and again, that's why we'll be anxious to see the details of the budget. We're all in favor of the Transportation Trust Fund, and a deal's going to have to be struck because it has to be funded. What did you hear on the Transportation Trust Fund? Everything's on the table, but there has to be some reductions in other taxes. I, he said he hasn't ruled out a gas tax, but he's not going to allow just people to increase taxes without lowering other taxes and keeping people in this state. And I think that's a fair, moderate, and reasonable approach. All right. Assemblyman John Bramnick, Assemblyman John Berzicelli, that's it from here in the Assembly Chamber. Back to you.